Hey, sorry for looking kind of dead, but I just want to update you guys on the Just Include bracelet that I got last year. So about eight months ago or so, um, someone posted a comment saying, hey, I think there is a diamond missing. And at that time, I didn't think much of it due to the fact that it was a brand new bracelet, so it shouldn't be. So I said, um, not to my knowledge. And then about a month ago, um, somebody else said exactly the same thing. And I said, so there must be something missing for sure. And so I went and I looked at the bracelet. I said, oh my gosh, there's the diamond missing. I went back and I checked um, the video and I also I checked the pictures that I took. So I bought the bracelet on August the 8th and I did a video, took some pictures on August the 12th. And as you can see, I'm going to put in the pictures in a little bit. Clearly, you can see that um, the diamond was missing then. And so um, at that time, I immediately emailed um, Cartier. And Cartier actually forwarded to the store that I bought it from, which is in uh, Cayman Island. And the manager um, emailed me back and she said, hey, can you send me uh, photos um, of your bracelet? Um, and I might possibly send you to the Dallas store. Um, I live in Texas, so they said that I might send me to a Dallas store so they can have somebody look at my bracelets and see what's going on. So I told her that I actually have plenty of pictures, video, and I even sent her the, um, the link to the, the YouTube video that I posted so they can see it. So after um, looking at the pictures and the video, she said, never mind, um, I, I don't have to go to the Dallas store at all. At all. And all I have to do is just um, follow the instruction of what she um, is going to send me and go ahead and send it back to them. And I'm going to show you like just a quick picture of like how I packed it. Not in details, but how I packed it. And actually, I did ask her too, hey, um, can I just go ahead and exchange my bracelet? Um, at the store in Dallas and she told me that because they um, they are in a different region compared to um, the Dallas region I guess um, so there's no way that it can be exchanged from region to region so that's why I could not really um, exchange the bracelet at all and due to my situation um, the shipment uh, for me to get it over there and get back um, was free it was all on Cartier um, it took about a week and a week and a half for my um, package to get there, and then about a week or so for the package to get back to me. Um, both both times, um, the package had to create custom, and at least um, from the Cayman Island to to me, I had to uh, fill out a form, and it's called the Create and Update Importer ID form. And on there, I had to put in my social security number, even though I wasn't really comfortable with it. Um, when I talked to the manager there, she said that within the past 17 years of her doing this, um, you know, she has no problem with it that she know of. And so um, I went ahead and just did it. She said that it would be much quicker that way if I filled the form in advance so she can um, put it in uh, with FedEx so that once it gets to custom, they have something to look over right away instead of uh, holding my package and then FedEx had to contact me. It's gonna take much longer. And I'm talking about that. Um, by the time I got the package to my house, um, as you know, like how uh, there's some things that are gonna be put in front of uh, the box itself. There's a clear envelope. Um, that envelope can be opened up and sure enough, within that clear envelope, my information with my social security number can clearly be accessed. And that's the only thing I was afraid of. 
it's not like anyone would try to, but um, there is a risk right there that my social security technically uh, could be looked at at any time by anyone um, if they wanted it to. So um, you might want to consider that if you ever have to uh, send back anything, um, there's a risk that if they put that information on the outside, again, <laughs> it can be accessed. Just FYI. So inside, um, they did give me a free sample of perfume. And here is just the um, certificate. And they also gave me a complimentary uh, lotion to help clean the jewelry and the uh, watch. So I definitely learned my lesson and I took plenty of pictures and plenty of videos this time. I just wanted to show you guys the inscription right there. There is no diamond on the inside of the circle head. <laughs> 